Hi friend, welcome back to my channel and today's volume two of Styling the Classics, which is going to be all about the trench coat. Now, French women always look so effortlessly chic wearing a trench coat. So today's Styling the Classics is going to be all about how to style a trench coat like a Parisian, because un trench is 100% a timeless wardrobe essential. Hopefully these following outfit formulas will give you some inspiration for styling your trench coat using other timeless basics that you should hopefully already own in your wardrobe. If not, I will leave everything linked in the description box down below and I'll just take the time now to quickly say if you want to see more of my styling the classic series don't forget to click subscribe below if you're not already and last week was my first in the series which was all about styling black converse so make sure you go check that out as well i'll leave that linked at the end of this video if you want to see more from me and let's get into the outfits these trench coat outfit formulas scream Parisian chic to me. I love myself an oversized suit and the trench coat works wonderfully over your tailoring. So try a suit, try a suit with a pair of trainers. We're gonna get that juxtaposition of the smart and the casual and throw your trench coat over the top for the finishing piece to this look. And I think this has to be one of my favorites. Would it be a uh, Parisian outfits video if I didn't have a stripe in here. My second outfit formula is a pair of straight leg jeans, another great wardrobe classic, paired with a striped top or t-shirt, some ballet flats, your trench coat, and then I've also thrown in a basket bag here. One, because I'm excited about the weather getting warmer in spring outfits, but I can just imagine this outfit with a baguette hanging out and it just brings in all those quintessential Parisian elements of an outfit of the ballet pumps, a basket bag, the stripes, a straight leg, and the trench coat. Again, another really timeless outfit formula. This next outfit formula would be great for the office, but as well as the weekend, I'm really into wearing my more smarter looks on a weekend, and I feel that the trench coat helps to dress this down. Again, it's all in the styling if you ruche up the sleeves and have a little play about and make it look a little bit deconstructed. But I have a pair of wide leg cropped trousers with a belt, a tank top, the trench coat, and a pair of loafers. And I love how the trench coat is kind of like the missing piece in your tailoring wardrobe. I think it is the perfect coat for the office as well as for the weekend and evenings. Speaking of evenings, I thought I would share how I would style the trench coat for an evening slash mid-afternoon look, maybe going for drinks or for dinner. I have on a pair of leggings with some heeled mule pumps and then a tank top with the trench coat and a little finishing piece here is the scarf. I've tied the scarf around my neck. Now this is something new for me, but I was thinking of a way that you could just add a little extra to this outfit to give it a wow factor. And I thought the monochromatic scarf worked really well and added a bit more of white into the outfit. Uh, I paired a white handbag with it as well. So I've sort of tried to lift it so it's not so black heavy, but I do love a black look for an evening. So let me know what you think about this playing around with the scarf in the comments below. This year I'm challenging myself to get a little bit more creative with my accessories and I think they're a great way that you can judge up the basics and classic pieces in your wardrobe. Serving some more inspiration for an evening look, I have put a, another wardrobe classic piece and something that I think Parisian women wear so beautifully is a slip dress. Simple, no fuss, elegant, effortless to throw on. So we have a slip dress with the trench coat. I've popped the collar here because that is what I would do with my trench coat on an evening. And I've also belted the trench coat slightly open so you can define your waist, but you can still see what you're wearing underneath the trench coat. And my slip dress here has a nice little cutout in. It's an old one, but I will try and find some similar. And I just love how the trench coat completes the look, but still looks sophisticated and sexy and has that Parisian vibe. I am just butting in here because I forgot to mention that I was told this trick actually when trying on my trench coat at Burberry at Vista Village where I actually got a Burberry trench coat for 
about half the price if you were interested in investing that the atelier there told me sorry i'm just gonna close up that for an evening look and to show off your outfit underneath as well as belting it cinching in the waist to show what you're wearing underneath you can actually take the side that you would normally button over to this side and button it to the buttons on the same side as the hole so you get an effect like this so i just didn't want to miss that little styling trick for you. And I know I mentioned about popping the collar. This Arquette one has a really big collar, so you're not getting the full effect as you would if you had a smaller collar popped up. I like doing this with my Burberry one because you get to see the flash of Burberry checking it, but I think it just makes it more of an evening style jacket and an extra layer, but you can still show off what you're wearing underneath. Parisian outfits are always, like I said, simple and no fuss and they are sexy but subtly sexy. So I love pairing a mini hemline with a trench coat. I love the flash of leg that you get to see but it's also slightly concealed by the trench coat. I think that's a very Parisian sexy styling way that you can update your mini hemline. So rather than going for a blazer or something that finishes on the length of your skirt or your leather the shorts like I'm wearing here in the cutaway go for a trench coat and that play on lengths I think it's really nice and I've paired mine with a pair of knee boots and a jumper as well so we're kind of dumbing down the sexy so we've got the short hemline but rather than flashing all the flesh on the top we've gone for knitwear to pair with it and then like I said we have the nice subtle flash of leg through the trench coat which is one of the reasons why I love a trench coat on an evening as well think maybe like a high heel or a high sandal in summer with a short hemline, a mini dress or a mini skirt, but then throwing over a lightweight trench over the top to complete the look. Or even a silk trench coat would be really nice for evening wear. Another one of those outfits that bridges dressing for the workplace, but also if you like classic fashion and want to dress chic and elevate your daytime looks, I've paired a flared trouser with a comfortable heel, a heeled boot, with a shirt, a trench coat, and then another typical Parisian styling tip, the sweater scarf, which has become so popular in the last few current years. Great for adding interest and dimension to an outfit, but also as an extra layer for warmth that you can take off and also wear over your shirt as well, which is why this one would be really handy for the office and commuting. And for my last Parisian outfit formula for ways to wear a trench coat, I wanted to throw in a midi length skirt style as well. And how I think this is really complemented by a longer trench coat, I wouldn't necessarily wear a midi skirt with a shorter trench, a trench coat that finishes shorter than the skirt. I don't think this is as flattering, but I love the color of navy and black together as well. I feel like that's something that's very Parisian too. So I have actually a beautiful Parisian brand, Cezanne, a knitted skirt and a cardigan, but you could easily do this with a knitted dress as well, uh, with the trench coat thrown over the top. And then I've paired with it my knee boots because I just think it's really subtly sexy as well to have a knee boot flashing underneath a skirt rather than having a little bit of ankle showing and I absolutely love this look and I think it's versatile for day tonight. My tips for buying a trench coat if you don't yet perhaps own one or it's something that you're looking to add more of into your collection. I would say go for a timeless colour palette so by this I mean a beige, a black, a navy, maybe even a grey, go for a lovely khaki colour. Just think those neutral tones that are classic colours that never go out of style and you can always add pops of colour in your accessories and the clothing that you pair them with. But I just personally think a neutral trench works best in your wardrobe and think what tones are going to match with other things that you own and wear regularly. Then I would consider my height. So are you petite, are you tall? For my petite ladies, I would suggest going for perhaps a shorter trench coat because a long oversized one might swamp you a little bit. But of course it's all personal preference because we know I love my oversized pieces. So I'm never telling you what to wear, just my suggestions. And if you're tall like myself, I'm five foot nine. I personally think on myself, I look better in a longer trench. Those trench coats that are mid calf to maxi length, maybe a little bit oversized. I can get away with the shoulder pad uh, when cinching in the waist. 
I don't particularly like a shorter trench coat on myself, but like I said, all personal preference. I own a Burberry trench, I own a couple of trench coats from different places, like today's, which is from Arquette. Now my little tips and tricks when it comes to wearing a trench coat, making it look effortlessly chic. It's all in those little tweaks, those little styling points. You don't just want to put the trench coat on and buckle it up, that just looks like that's the expected way to do things. Instead of buttoning it up, if you wanted to wear it closed, I would wrap the trench coat over, then get your belt, tie it in a knot and leave the belt hanging loose. Or a great way as well to cinch in a trench coat if it's a little bit oversized and you want to wear it open and unbuttoned, I would take the belt around the back and tie it in a knot there and again have the buckle hanging loose, but I would leave some cutaways for you guys to see what I'm talking about. Other things you can do is you can pop the collar up which I like to do if I'm wearing a trench coat as an evening outfit. And then it's all in how you sort of roll your sleeves and ruche them up. All of those little styling points make a big difference to the overall look of your outfit and it can help balance proportions depending on what you are wearing underneath your trench coat. I would love to know which is your favourite trench coat outfit in the comments down below and whether you thought that these looks emulate that effortless Parisian chic vibe that I'm trying to attain on a daily basis. But if you enjoyed this video, do let me know by giving it a thumbs up, subscribing. Let me know what other classic wardrobe pieces you would like to make sure I include in this series. And I will see you in my next one. Thank you for watching. Bye.